What's up guys, it's Brian here. I'm back again. I'm back in my room. I'm back home. I'm back to the basics and I'm back with another vlog because some of y'all wanted me to share my experience with you. So I'll do it. No problem. I can start off by saying that it was incredible, fantastic and amazing. You know, it was really a trip I will remember for the rest of my life. It was a lifetime experience. You know, it, it's hard to explain with words how it was, but you know, I'll try. I think you I think you gotta you gotta live it to understand it. But like I said, I'll try to explain this experience I had. I bet you all have seen my video I made. Um you know it got over four thousand views in only two days. So I bet you all have seen it. But if not, I'll try to explain the whole the whole experience. You know, it was amazing, like I said, you know, getting to meet professional football players like Michael Essien, Clint Dempsey. Uh, Niklas Bentner, Andreas Schalvin, Van der Vaart, Luis Figo, just to name a few, was was fantastic. You know, we got to hear their story on how they became a football player, um, how much they sacrificed to become a football player, and how they dealt with obstacles uh, in their career. And, you know, that was inspiring for us and for me. You know, not, I don't know about other players, but that was really inspiring for me and also very motivating, you know. Uh, hearing about how much they sacrificed and how they dealt with obstacles was really, really inspiring for me and very important for me as well because, you know, me not making it to the final 32 was really hard, you know, and I just think about what they said and, you know, I got to stay strong and work hard. There's nothing else I can do, you know, the past is the past. I got to learn from my mistakes and, you know, I got to move on and keep on doing my thing, you know, there's nothing else I can do. So, you know, the past is the past. And before I start talking about the downs, I want to talk about the ups. So we getting to meet all those professional football players was amazing, you know, guys. I, I it, it was just amazing. I can't explain with words, like I said. You know, I, I bet you all can can feel and understand what I really mean. But, you know, I, I really think you got to live it to understand it. And, you know, living like a professional football player for five days, you know, was a dream come true. Of course, I wanted it to last a little bit longer, but, you know, everything comes to an end. And, you know, I, I'll work hard to, to live that life. You know, I really want to live that life of a professional footballer. And, you know, that's my dream. You all know that my dream is to play uh, at, at a professional level, and especially in England. And... That, that's what I'm going to strive for now, you know, I really miss the English breakfast, the bacon, the eggs and, you know, the bacon and the brown sugar, you know, I drank a lot of tea when I was there. I drank a lot of tea with brown sugar and I really liked it and I miss it, you know, but, you know, we also got to meet Arsene Wenger and when I saw him from a distance, I started to laugh with joy, you know, I couldn't believe my eyes and when I actually got to shake his hand, you know, I got speechless, I couldn't even speak, you know, guys, it was... A dream come true and I want to thank Nike for giving me this opportunity and sharing this experience with me. You know, I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I got to meet so many nice uh, players and uh, human beings, you know. I got to meet some some persons working for Nike. Uh, one was called Vladimir and he was really nice, you know. We, we, we still have contact, you know, and... You know, he gave me his support when I didn't make it to the final 32. He told me that I should always work hard and, you know... He gave me some advice, and I really thank him. I really thank him for that, and I'm re I really appreciate his support. You know, and like I said, we got to meet so many nice players. I got new friends. You know, and this whole trip was a really, really good experience. You know, and uh, the other good things was that you know we were training in some very nice fields. You know, not without without joking. This is serious. It was like ten football fields. We were training in a really high class professional level. You know. Um, when we came into the dressing room, our clothes was already hanged up, you know. It was just incredible. We got, we got everything we could ask for. So all we could do as a football player was go out on the field and deliver. And that's what I think I did. I did my best. I tried my best. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough, you know. Uh, all the coaches or every coach see different things, you know. Some coaches might see something, uh, something in me, but some may not. And... Unfortunately, they didn't see anything special in me. Or maybe they saw something special, otherwise I wouldn't be in the final hundred. But, you know, maybe they didn't see, or maybe I didn't have what they thought I had to make it to the final 32. I heard that three three of the coaches liked me, but, you know, there's eight of them, and all of them have to come together and make a decision. And I wasn't in that decision, and, of course, it was hard to me to accept because I really thought that I would make it to the final 32. I was really confident. I thought that I did well in the trainings, 
But, you know, like I said, all the coaches see different things, you know, and when I didn't make it to the final 32, I got really sad and, you know, I felt really bad. I felt like I let myself down. I felt like I let you guys down and I felt like I let let my family down. But, you know, uh, when I think about it right now, I get I get really disappointed, you know, and a little bit sad, you know, because when I went back to the hotel, I, I actually cried. I will, not, I will not lie, you know, I cried because I felt really sad you know I felt like I got a knife stabbed in my heart because this wasn't the first time when I was in Nottingham training for their academy in 2007 it was the same thing I didn't make it you know and I didn't make it that time either for Nike Academy so I felt really bad you know I thought to myself this was my second chance and I didn't make it will I get other chances I don't know the future the future knows so I felt really bad and I felt like not talking to anyone I wanted to go home I didn't want to, you know, see anybody or something. I just wanted to be by myself and, you know, I I felt really bad, guys. And I bet you all read my things I put on here on my fan page. And once again, I got to thank you all for the support because you, write, you wrote to me so many nice things, you know. But I didn't feel good after 10 minutes. I didn't feel good after 20 minutes. I didn't feel good after one hour or two or three hours. I felt good the day after because before I went to sleep that day, I, I thought about the whole situation. I thought about the trainings. I thought about what I did, what I could have done, what I didn't do, what I should do, you know. And I thought about the whole situation. And the next day when I woke up, you know, I told myself, I got to move on. The past is the past, you know. And I always believe that every day is a day or every day is a new chance to make your dream become a reality. So, you know, I left that behind me and I moved on. And, you know, it wasn't easy, but I moved on, you know. And I, I really want to thank you guys for giving me the support because it really, really helped me, you know. I thought about quitting football. I thought about so many stupid things, you know. It was hundred and thousand of thoughts going through my mind, you know. And, you know, I really need to thank you guys. And I really uh, as well have to thank my family for calling me from Sweden to England and giving me their support. You know, it meant a lot to me because I really needed the support. But, you know, you know, I, I accepted it. After, after the day after, you know, I accepted it because, you know, I tried my best and there's nothing else I can do. Like Michael Jordan once said, he said, I can accept failure, but I could not accept not trying. And that that's the thing, you know, I tried my best. So that's why I accept that failure because... I did what I did, you know, I did what I could do, and it wasn't enough, but still I did my best, and I gotta move on, you know, guys, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, so now I'm back in Sweden stronger than ever, but you gotta know that I was feeling so down, I was feeling so down, and you know, guys, you were there for me when I was feeling down, so I really thank you all, I got over 6,000 fans now, and it's incredible, guys, every day when I wake up and I take a look at my fan page, I smile, I get happy, because... All the time, every time I put on something on my fan page, when I write something, you guys like it and you drop comments and it really it really means a lot to me. And, you know, once again, I just want to thank you and I want to thank Nike for giving me this opportunity. You know, it was it was a dream come true, you know, living it, living the professional life of a footballer for five days was incredible. You know, living in the five star hotel, you know, waking up in this comfortable bed, you know, these things was just incredible, you know, and I really, really hope that I can live like that sometime soon in the future, you know, I'll work even harder now, and, you know, the whole experience, I'll take it with me, the bad stuff, I'll take it with me, even if it's bad, you know, I'll take it with me and turn it, turn it into good stuff, you know, not me not making it to the final 32, you know, that's a really bad thing, you know, but I'll take it with me and turn it into something good because who knows, in the future I might be in the same position where, where coaches need to select players, you know, and then I really know what to do. So I won't just leave the bad things behind me. I'll take it with me and turn it into something good. And of course, I'll take all the positive things with me. Of course, you know, it was just amazing, guys. I can't explain it, but I bet you all can get a small feeling on how it really was, you know, and you know, I couldn't leave England without getting uh, getting to know what, what a coach thought about me. So that's why I talked to one of the coaches I liked the most. His name is Jimmy. I had him for my first training. And, you know, it felt really good on his training. Everything was going well, you know. We, we, we did some technical stuff and it really felt good, you know. And, you know, he his style of training was was really nice. I really liked that style of training, you know, and hearing these English words like superb and good son, go on son, you know, it's really, really nice and it keeps me working even harder. So I really liked him and, you know, I spoke to him the last day. I wanted to know what, what he thought I could do better, what I didn't do or what I should do. So, 
you know, I thought to myself the day when I didn't uh, get to the final 32, the day before I went to sleep, I thought to myself, okay, what should I do? What, what didn't I do? What did I not do? Or, you know, I thought about the whole training, but I wanted to speak to our coach and uh, know what I, from a coach point of view, I wanted to know what I could have done better. So I talked to Jimmy and he gave me some advice and I really thank him for that as well. And, you know, he told me some few things that I didn't do and what I should do. So I'll just take you with me, you know, and, this whole experience just made me stronger as a football player and as a human being.